right now in my studio, in my life, I'm trying to uh, just sort of pare down some things. I have a lot of excess in my studio. So I thought it would be good to combine things and reuse things and recycle things. I know a lot of times people do that. But I found these baton twirlers and I thought to myself, it could be fun to combine these two paintings or these two elements together. Like a lot of times you'll see me combine paper together. But since this is such a heavy material, if you're gonna cut up your paintings like this, which I love to do all the time, but if you're gonna do that and you're gonna adhere like a thick canvas like this to a thick painting like this, you wanna use a really good adhesive. And so that's when I use um, my heavy gel medium because this might be you. You might have some giant paintings that you like, but you're not in love with, but, and maybe you wanna combine them. Um, I'm gonna just quick take you through the process. So what you wanna do is have a nice clean flat surface, which I don't have. So I'm gonna be working right here in front of me. But I'm going to take this stuff and I'm gonna slather it as thick as I can on the back of my um, baton twirler. A credit card is really good for this, or a palette knife. I'm gonna use the credit card and really scoop it on. And I mean, you gotta use a lot of material, a lot of product when you're doing this. And then take your card and just Scrape it over. I will hold this up in a second. You really want to like slather it on. So you can see here, I've really coated, gotten into the different canvas, the, the weave, the canvas weave. So you want to get a lot of that material on. You want to work quickly so it doesn't, um, doesn't dry on you right away. So I'm doing this as fast as possible. I do use the gel medium for this because it's transparent. Like right now I've got it all over my fingers. I got some on the actual front of this, so it's gonna dry transparent, so I don't have to worry about getting paint everywhere. Okay, I've slathered it on. I'm going to put this here for now. But what I'm gonna do is take the whole painting and really like press this down. I normally would work on the floor for this. And then I am going to let it dry like this. And I'm gonna put some weights on the back of where this is adhered and just let it sit for a while. So you want to have something down on the ground because right now there's some stuff here. Put a weight on it and just let it dry and let it sit. So that's working on a big scale if you're going to combine your paintings. And I definitely recommend you try doing that, especially if you're like me, you've got limited space and lots of paintings accruing. Um, it could be kind of fun to try cutting them up 